guys, Caleb's Cards here. Coming at you with another TTM Mail Week recap episode for you. I have several TTMs that came in over this week. Uh, sent out quite a few cards, actually. Uh, sent out over 100, I think, in one week. Um, so uh, I was almost on the medium or order level. So hopefully we'll see some coming back here in time. i uh, been trying to get back at it whenever I feel like it or have some time. Um, and I definitely had some time this week because I was on vacation, but I was kind of sick, so I didn't really get to do anything. I was just stuck here at home um, until yesterday when we had a little barbecue. So um, thanks to everybody who might be watching this and came over. I appreciate it. But uh, yeah, so I didn't really get to do anything. just wasn't feeling well. And so I just wrote TTMs out or uh, looked up people to write TTMs out. Uh, went through a bunch of stamps, even bought a few more. I already used a couple of them. I got these for um, $9.49 each, so it's a little bit cheaper than they are brand new. So I guess that's pretty cool. I guess they are from 2018, so I guess technically they would have been much cheaper than this. At least now, you know, they're like, I don't know, what are they, $0.66, cents, $0.68 cents now? So that, that worked out better. I think it's from like $13 something dollars if you're going to buy them new, so I found that on eBay. Um, I did get one more straggler from the Josh Hamilton PC. Um, this is from 2008 uh, SP Legendary Cuts, and it is a jersey card. Pictured him in the Reds uniform, but it does have the Rangers logo on the back because he was traded by that time. Pretty cool looking card. I think it was like $1.99, so I thought that was a good deal to add Josh Hamilton collection. As I'm around 200 or so cards, I'm trying to get at least to 250. Next up, I have an email success that came in from the president of Lithuania. This is Gitanis Naseda. Um, he sent this, uh, I guess it'd be like a six by eight, maybe even a, yeah, probably a six by eight photo. Um, that was out for about 40 days or so in the email request. So it's pretty cool. Got a European president. Um, it's pretty much impossible to get American presidents, so hey, when you can just send an email and these other countries are like, hey, yeah, I'll send you some. That's pretty cool. So I thought that was awesome. Uh, I got another one of those Sports Illustrated magazines come in. It's assigned by golfer Craig Stadler. Uh, this issue is from uh, 1982. So that came up pretty nice. I knew he was a pretty good uh, signer. The Walrus, I believe, was one of his nicknames. That was a cool one to get, Greg Stadler. Um, I also made another purchase. It wasn't didn't cost very much. It was maybe around ten dollars or so. Um, I don't I don't think I'll show in this one because I don't think I can do a World War One video on it because I don't really have uh, information on these gentlemen. But it is signed by a couple World War One veterans. Um, they're from the Royal Air Force. Um, it says CDR Hollingworth and T.E. Guttery, or W.G.'s. I don't, I don't think they have a first name for Hollingworth. I think it's just Hollingworth, so I'm not entirely sure. Um, but it's just a, kind of a, kind of like the British version of, I think, the, what was it, the first day issue or something like that. Um, talks about uh, the number five squadron Royal Air Force 60th anniversary. And this was a uh, postmark from uh, July 27th, 1973. And it's also signed in the back there. Um, by a, That's by... It says T.E. Guttery, but it looks more like Constantine or something. I don't know. Oh, no, lead squad leader in Guavin? No. That's what the, the title of the listing says, but it looks like it, that doesn't look like a uh, guttery. But either way, it's signed by a couple World War One veterans, so we can add that to the World War One little collection I got going of autographs and related. So that's pretty cool. Then I got, got some cards. So, a lot of these are coming from Mike Kane, who sent me a package of uh, TTM fuel. 
So it definitely got me inspired. So thank you, Mike, for that. Um, to send some out. Uh, he sent a lot of pretty cool cards. Uh, some I even actually, I was like, I can't send these out. I got to add them to my collection. So I even cheated and added a few to the binders. But I tried to send to as many people as I could that uh, at least signed. And um, mainly guys that signed for free. I wasn't really looking to send cash or anything and didn't have any on hand. So, um, But we got Mr. Sam Ewan who signed 79 and 78 tops. Uh, I've never sent to him before. And he also signed uh, one of the uh, protective index cards. So we got a bonus autograph there. And then I'll reuse. Well, no, it wasn't, I guess. As an extra. Recycle that, I guess you could say. Next up, we have Mr. Tom House. Who uh, is a pretty famous uh, throwing coach. Uh, I don't know if he does that anymore, but he, I know he helped. He worked with Tim Tebow and a lot of other players. Uh, he was pretty popular. Um, he was also like a pitching coach. Like he signed uh, this minor league card I found of him from one of those antique mold uh, boxes from 1984. I did have a 79 tops of his. I should have sent out an extra. And then I still have a ton of these. Well, not a ton, but a few of these signature cards, these autograph cards I used to send out way back in the day. I don't know if some of you remember. Um, when I didn't have like stuff of them or pictures or something of them, I'd send one of these. And uh, still have a few of those, so I was trying to work through some of those. And then uh, I'm trying to work on, that was what I was supposed to do this week, was also to try and find a nice place to do some updates or pictures for kind of like my baseball cards slash business cards. Um, or like to, to promote my channel and to share with you guys. And I was like, I need to do a new photo. I, I like the photo a lot. It's really cool. But that was, you know, three years ago. <laughs> so I um, probably should update that. So um, I've been sending these out to some of the people I write. And this one he sent it back. So um, I guess I wasn't, I wasn't, you know, clear that hey, you can have it if you want. I just figured maybe they might like to know who's writing them. I don't know. And then it has my channel on the back. So I do need to do a better job of, I guess, communicating that and also um, probably updating the back for the next ones. Um, and those, unfortunately, I couldn't sign those. So I can't give them out to you guys because they don't, uh, the ink doesn't take too well. To those which you'll see coming up soon here um next up we have mr jim lindeman who signed the 88 don russ i believe 88 is his rookie but it might actually he may have had a card in 87 i forget but uh that was also from mike kane um we also had these two this is from mike perot a couple 81 tops signed on the arm there this is a pretty good uh, spot, actually, because you got the dark background. And then uh, you can sign the uniform or something to at least seek a signature. So I had a couple cards that are from my cane. Um, I'll probably set aside probably one of the other ones to give to somebody in the future. Um, I got this 1978 top sign by Manny Moda. Um, I don't know if he still works for the Dodgers anymore. Um, but, uh, I know he used to, if you'd sent to the Dodgers, he'd usually get back to you. Uh, but this was sent to his home address there in California. Um, I, I have this card signed cause I got it in like a big lot, but I don't believe I've ever actually sent to Manny Moda. I've only ever just uh, received him from either other people or, um, you know, bought it in a lot or chanced upon it somehow. So that was... I think that was technically a new one there. Um, I got a new racing return, someone I've never gotten before. A Mr. Bill Sedgwick on a 1996 press pass. So pretty cool card there. And then I sent one of the signature cards, but he did not sign it. So I don't know if maybe it's because those aren't the kind of cards he was racing. Because all the logos have been removed for, you know, um, legal purposes. But uh, so I'll have to see if I can... Uh, I already filled out the back though, but I'll have to cover that up and send it to somebody else, I guess. But uh, yeah, I had a few extra racing cards. I kind of like just went crazy all all over the board with different different categories. Just whatever cards I had, I had a whole stack. Some I couldn't send because they weren't signing or I couldn't find any addresses for. Also got a, I think, former wide receiver, um, New Orleans Saints. I also played the Oilers a little bit and the Dolphins one year. 
Uh, I don't think he really got any action though in the uh, Dolphins. Um, but we got Jeff Groth. I just noticed he he just put a little black dot in the corner. Maybe he's testing out the marker, or maybe he's doing um, kind of like uh, who is it? The baseball player that does uh, he like fills out the corners? Trick window. <laughs> maybe he's doing something like that. I don't know. By the way, that was also from Mike Kane. And this one's from Mike Kane. Um, so I sent a 79 tops, and I actually found a whole bunch of more Tigers cards for him after I sent it. I was like, oh, man, missed opportunity. But that's all right. Um, so we just sent the 79 tops when he's with the Expos, Stan Poppy. He also signed the protective index cards. And he sent my my card, my personal card, back signed with his signature. So it's kind of funny. Um, so, yeah, as you can see, the ink does not... Hold well. I don't know what Tops did with this batch, uh, but they did definitely skimped out on the quality <laughs> um, from my first one that I made, my first order. Because even uh, even this one too, you kind of see how it's kind of off cut. See that black border on the top compared to this one. But the uh, the surface is way more glossier than uh, it's supposed to be. So. <laughs> um, yeah, so that's that's what I've been doing. I gave them pretty much all out, so I guess I got one more back that I can send out to somebody if I want. But I would like to, I always wanted to at least do that if I had the money, um, just to order a whole bunch and just, you know, send them with the people um, I write to. I thought that'd be kind of a cool touch, I guess. Because, I mean, I mean, who's going to send you a, you know, a custom card or something, and then they're just, like, uh, trying to profit off you or something? I don't know. Because I definitely, I've never sold an autograph. I've never, you know, done anything like that. I've just, you know, I've given some away. I've, uh, you know, always to just go in the collection. So, and uh, I enjoy them. So, that is it, everybody. That is all I have. Um, I hope you enjoyed. And maybe this gave you some TTM ideas. Or some people you haven't tried yet. I'm looking forward to seeing what comes in for next week. Um, if I get an absolute ton, I might do two episodes in a week. But for the most part, we'll stick with the at least once a week to every other week schedule. I'm um, just not get too overwhelmed. Um, and uh, just try and uh, if I see some people I can write to, I'll definitely give it a shot. And uh, also, if you are interested in trying to write to some people or you want to look at doing this hobby, um, I do have some links down below to some address sites that I either currently use or have used in the past that would be helpful resources to you. There's also some channels and some websites as well down below um, some friends of the channel that maybe there's some things that you might uh, want to look into as well as I uh, see their work see what they do uh, you might be interested in those as well um, I also you can look on my channel if you go to my home page uh, I think the search bar is still there somewhere I don't know if YouTube's changed it but I do have tutorials on you know how I do my TTMs and how I find uh, the sites and make the photos and find the best photos at least that I can find and uh, just some guides and some helpful hints there so if that's something you're interested in um, definitely give my page a look and I really appreciate it there's also my Facebook and Instagram that's down there as well if you want to see some past returns so thanks everybody for watching I uh, hope you have a great day and I will see you all next time bye